Athens, Georgia is home to a celebrated music scene. The current recently visited Athens, and we'd like to share some highlights with you. The Athens music scene goes back further than you might think. The Morton House was built in the early 1900s and was among the country's first African-American owned, built, and managed vaudeville theaters. Legends such as Cab Calloway, Bessie Smith, Duke Ellington, and Louis Armstrong performed at this venue. In the 1970s, two up-and-coming musicians, Cindy Wilson and Kate Pearson, worked at a restaurant located on the ground floor of the Morton Theater. Wilson and Pearson, along with Fred Schneider and Keith Strickland, would go on to form the band the B-52s. And the Athens music scene as we know it today is widely considered to have begun at this unassuming house on North Millage Avenue, where, for a Valentine's Day party in 1977, the B-52s played their very first concert. In early 1980, at Wax Tree Records in the center of Athens, a young man named Peter Buck worked here, where he befriended fellow music lover Michael Stipe, a student at the University of Georgia. Stipe and Buck later met Mike Mills and Bill Berry, and the foursome would go on to form R.E.M. There are several R.E.M.-related landmarks around Athens. This steeple is all that remains of the former St. Mary's Episcopal Church, which had been deconsecrated prior to the 1980s. R.E.M. rehearsed in the sanctuary space and in 1981 played their very first gig here. Not far from the steeple is the Georgia Railroad Trestle, which crosses the Oconee River. Music fans may recognize the trestle from the back of R.E.M.'s first full-length album, Murmur. Upstream from the Georgia Railroad Trestle is Weaver D's, a restaurant serving soul food and barbecue. But look closely at the slogan on Weaver D's sign out front, Automatic for the People. That slogan became the title of R.E.M.'s 1992 album, their eighth full-length studio release. By the 1990s, the Athens music scene was firmly on the map. In this house, located at 156 Grady Avenue, Jeff Magnum wrote the songs for the 1998 Neutral Milk Hotel album and the aeroplane over the sea. Explore the center of town and you'll find the Georgia Theater where acts as varied as the B-52s, B.B. King, Muddy Waters, Tom Waits, Widespread Panic, Ice-T, Fish, and many others have performed. And part of the video for R.E.M.'s hit 1991 single, Shiny Happy People, was filmed inside the Georgia Theater. A couple blocks away is the 40 Watt Club, a music venue as iconic to Athens as First Avenue is to Minneapolis. Artists such as Pavement, Run DMC, Flaming Lips, salt and Peppa, Bob Mould, The Fall, Connor Oberst, Hippocampus, and Vic Chestnut have performed here. To measure just how vibrant the Athens music scene remains, we need only explore the local section at Wax Tree Records, where acts like the B-52s occupy space next to Of Montreal, Drive-By Truckers, and many others. What new bands will emerge from Athens? We'll be eager to find out.